Montreal, baby, let's go. I gotta take a piss. I'm gonna take you guys on a journey with me to take a piss. Actually, it's a bad place to take a piss because there's a drive through McDonald's like right here. I guess I just take a piss on my friend's funder deck, it's fine. T minus three hours away from Montreal. This is what I do for you guys. I'm going all the way to Montreal, five hours drive just for you guys. Let's go. Yo, boys, are you guys ready to win? Montreal! Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Let's go. Mark, you winning? Ben, you winning? That's hot. Cause I'm winning. Let's go. Thanks. Time is back. Three hours into the drive. Can't really feel my legs. Guess what? I'm still gonna draw one prank kid, one right of Hermes here, and four hand traps, so it's all good. We'll see you guys at the next pit stop. We gotta get some food to fuel our systems. Uh, we can't draw a prank kid right four hand traps on an empty stomach, so we gotta get some food. We'll see you guys then. Thank you. Let's go. Hello. I will have. Can I get six donuts? I'll get three Boston creams. Let's get three of that. Yo, boy, who would you get here? here? I get three of that. Let's get one chocolate glazed. Uh, let's get one strawberry swirl. And I'll get one sour cream glaze. Yes, and a four cheese bagel toasted with butter, please. Pen best deck. Pen? Best deck. Pen best deck. Awesome, bro. If you want to learn about Yu-Gi-Oh, you check out right there. You'll learn everything about Yu-Gi-Oh. Pen best deck, baby. Let's go. Man, there's a very high chance we're going to get there with absolutely zero sleep, bro. We were up all night last night drinking too. This is gonna be quite the mission, boys. We are one hour closer, but our boy needs some more sleep. So there's a high chance we're gonna go to a whole a whole event with no sleep. But you know what? We just built different. No sleep, uh, 10 hours of sleep don't matter. Don't, don't matter. We're still gonna perform, baby. Let's go. All right, guys, the boys are buzzing. We back, we ready, an hour and a half away. So sleepy, it's 6 a.m., no sleep yet. Turning starts soon. I'm gonna need your luck, boys. This is gonna be rough, but guess what? We'll pull through, I hope. Thank God's running on low energy. I need some pendulums in my life. Let's go. It is currently 8 a.m. We have made it in Montreal, baby. Bonjour, au revoir. Let's go. So we're gonna go sleep like two hours and then win. Let's go. Yo, boys, we made it. Yeah, we made it. I don't know if this is normal for Montreal. We walk into this hotel. This guy's the biggest dickhead in the fucking planet. Holy shit. We literally fucking travel lodge hotel. Yo, Tino, bro, Tino, from now on, I pick hotels, bro. Travel lodge hotel, most biggest trash ass fucking hotel on the planet. No one ever come here again. Literally zero out of 10. I'm about to leave a fucking bad review. And you know it's bad when they have fucking calipers that try to fucking hide the tires. What kind of ghetto ass shit is that? But people are gonna steal tires or some shit? What the fuck kind of nonsense is this, bro? Anyways, Travel Lodge Hotel, there's a reason it's three stars. I'm surprised it even got fucking half star. Absolutely pathetic, bro. The guy probably plays Thunder. He definitely looks like he plays Yu-Gi-Oh, that's for sure. And he is a fucking pussy, bro. Anyways, so now it's like nine o'clock. Tournament starts two hours, still no sleep. This adventure just keeps getting weirder and weirder, but it is what it is. Pen, pen respect, baby. Pen respect. <laughs> Let's go. All right, guys, mission number one of the day, stay awake. Mission number two, see mission number one. All right, guys, here's what you're gonna do right now. You're gonna comment down below your best ways to wake up. I will telepathically hear them and see them now before they're posted and use these methods to wake up in Montreal. Bonjour, Trip Gaming. Au revoir, d'accord. Baku, aujourd'hui. Let's go. Today, boys, we're going to locals and we're gonna win. We might be a little sleepy from quite the adventure, but shout out my boy, Stone Cold. All right, boys, we finally have touched down in Montreal. Tournament's about to start. All this adventure coming down to this one battle now. I have all my deck complete. I'm playing a, a very similar list to what I did before where we won the last two tournaments. Well, we're gonna win the next three now, baby. Let's go. Round one pairings are gonna be up in about 30 minutes. We're gonna get some food, some energy drinks, and win. Yo, you guys are gonna win today? You're getting first? What, what deck are you playing though? You used to play Perform for Odd Eyes. Yeah. And you just played Odd Eyes yesterday. Yes, sir. You guys just moved to Toronto. What the hell? <laughs> There's no Odd Eyes duelist in Toronto. Toronto is just a bunch of idiots playing Plunder. I mean, except for you. Uh, Odd Eyes King. Ah, oh, thank you, bro. I, I, got, I mean, I gotta, I gotta start playing it. I'm playing. Uh, I'm, I'm playing. Uh, I, I'm gonna keep it real, guys. I'm not playing Pendulum today. I'm playing a trash ass fucking Brave deck today. 
But uh, I know what kind of fucking pen guy. Who, who am I? The last like five locals, I didn't even play no pendulum. But you know what? I, well, I want to switch it up a bit, you know, because it's kind of boring playing the same thing all the time. So I just bought every meta deck for two thousand dollars. I was like, let's just play everything. Yo, you gonna win today? Uh, hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. There was a there was a bit there where you were thinking. Yeah, because the deck is good, but I break a lot. I believe in you, bro. Yeah. I believe in I you. I picked up a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh places, so. Ah, uh, well, I believe in you. You're going to win today. I'm going to finish second. You're going to win. <laughs> oh, shit. Ah, okay. Let's go. Let's I don't go. know about that. You know. Yo, bro, you ready for the tourney today? Yeah. You're going to win? Sure. Ah, right, let's go. Are you going to win? Yeah. Okay. Aujourd'hui, to uh, Boku win. Guys, my friend wants me to sign his droplets. Droplets are expensive. And I double sleep it. Ah! Yes. Every time my boy gets psyched, you know he's gonna draw a drop us. Go! He's gonna have it a lot. Like Guys, I know it went around asking everyone who's gonna win. But my pick for today's champion is my friend over here. What's your name? You are gonna win today, bro. Are you confident in your deck? No. No. <laughs> well, I'm confident in your deck. And 60,000 subscribers of Trip Gaming are confident in your deck. I hope you win, bro. Me too. I hope he wins. Round is gonna start right now. I will not be showcasing every single round. I will try and save it so you can see the rounds of the finals, perhaps, and stuff like that. There's gonna be a long tournament. Stay tuned, it's gonna be an awesome vlog. Smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. Let's go. I'm telling you guys right now, someone with blue pants is gonna win today. Let's go. <laughs> Round one's gonna start. What's your name? Matthew. Matthew. Oh, what a sick French name. Bonjour. Finally, after all this time, after all this travel, after all this driving, still on no sleep, it is time to begin our Montreal tournament. Let's go. The idea of this tournament is going to be six rounds. It is going to be top eight, and it is a double case tournament of OTS. Let's go. Here, my opponent does kind of brick, and it is not enough to stop this full fledged attack that I'm about to put on him. And there's really just no way he's gonna win, especially not on the Yelich playmat, which you can get now on shriftgaming.com. You already know what it is, boys. Hits me with a nib imperm, but I'm like, that's all right. That is no problem because we're still set up nicely. We still have an amazing follow up, and I still have a lot of hand traps. My opponent here is not going to be able to draw. He's actually playing prank kids. This is actually a prank kid mirror match. And uh, he is just not able to draw any. And that is perfect by me. Uh, on the resolution of the Axis Code, I hit him with the Veiler. And there's just really no way that he could actually beat us here. Uh, <laughs> like, not at all. So, yeah, this is, this is what's going to happen. In a prank kid mirror match, uh, whoever doesn't draw a prank kid is obviously going to lose. Whether it's first or second. If the other person has it, another doesn't, it's just going to be game over. And uh, I need to win this, bro. I've This is our, our last test, basically our, hu our last huge test before we go to YCS Charlotte. So we're going to need to win this to prepare for that. Here we go, Soger, but you know what? It's not going to be enough because he hard drew Pandemonium. Because he hard drew the Pandemonium, he's not going to be able to play through uh, our Ghost Ogre on the Prank Kid. And so I'm just thinking in my head, I'm like, I also have Impermanent. So I Imperm that right away. And even Imperm, uh, it's not going to be able to stop him fully. And uh, so here he ends on these and he actually hard drew another pandemonium. Uh, otherwise, it would it did stop him 100% stopped him, but he hard drew a second uh, pandemonium. So uh, I'm like, ah, oh, that's just going to be game then. Huh? He, hard, he hard drew two of them. That's insane. Uh, he's going to set up the butler here and then that's just going <laughs> to, man, it's going to be game. There's not much we could do from that point. And I think about it, I'm like, man, there's just no way we could do this. And it maybe makes me realize he's playing a pure prank list. Where obviously different prank kid lists are they're like, you know, I would I do not recommend playing a pure list. Obviously he's playing Brave and stuff, but he's playing such a high number of prank kids that they're gonna result in a brick. And I do find that an overabundance of the prank kids obviously do result in a brick, especially when it's the prank kid spells. They're really, really bad, but so I don't personally recommend it, but it helped my opponent out a lot there. So here's a pivotal game three. We need to win this. We start off with Aquamatris, amazing start, and then prank it. Boom, GG. Like this, you're gonna need triple hand trap to stop me in this scenario. Uh, with these, I set up Griffin. And I'm pretty sure I have hand traps all in my hand. I, like, <laughs> this is just absolutely so broken and uh, completely unbeatable. Like, honestly, I'm not even joking. Only Pendulum could beat it. And 
as, as long as we don't play pendulum we are good we're gonna have free reign all the way to the top uh let's go this is a very good start to the tournament and yeah if you guys like what you see up to this point you know smash the subscribe button smash the like button it took a long way to get here and i do this for you guys i love you guys i want to bring out the best uh, local vlogs content possible whether it be traveling wherever i just want you guys to love the content so here we're gonna pop that bring out three monsters and there's just no way we're gonna lose this i mean look at this there's just literally no chance he tries a little bit he tries his best but we all agree like i just literally attack attack for game that is great start to the tournament let's win the next few ones let's go baby great round one over there we're 1-0 we're gonna go the rest of the way we gotta keep winning it was the best deck mirror match so it was good that uh, we came out on top the second i saw game two when i saw pranking go down i knew i was in danger but we pulled through so we'll see what goes in the next ones let's go all the boys are 1-0 amazing start yeah 6-0 is the goal just finished round two uh against sword soul 2-0 we won we're now 2-0 record and we got to keep it going boys I won't be able to record every single match, but I'll record a few of them. And uh, man, it was a really good match. I wish you guys saw the last one. We're two well, four more to go. Six rounds in the top eight. Let's go. Right, I'm I'm the table. Let's get it. <laughs> Yo, Steven. I got cowboy for game. I can't believe it. My boy just got 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 cowboy. <laughs> It's just like me. I got Gaga Cowboy for yesterday's locals. That's absolutely hilarious. All right, let's go, guys. So this is the next round is up now. Uh, man, everyone in everyone in Montreal is so nice. Like, honestly, like I'm pulling against this guy is just the nicest guy ever. And, uh, you know, he, he just he, he obviously bricked here. He didn't open Alistair, but he did have Digmatic Ecclesia. That's not going to be enough against my deck here. I mean, we have full prank combo and that's just not going to be enough. So he, he does have a cosmic. He's going to get rid of that. I'm like, that's fine. We're going to go into this. We're going to go into this. We're going to set up all the pranks possible. We're going to set up DP on top of that. We're going to attack for extra damage and then pop it and then attack for extra 2000. And at this point, I mean, there's no way he's going to come back from this. Uh, we're easily going to win game one here. And if we keep playing like this, it's just game over. Like, there's just, if we keep opening like this and see, drawing like this, uh, it's over. We're, uh, we're gonna, I'm going to show three matches in total because I don't want to have, like, a massively big video. Obviously, we're in Montreal, so I'm sure you guys would rather see, like, random cool stuff in Montreal versus just duels. But at this point, I'm going to end up winning this match here, uh, making me 2-0. I end up winning the next match, making me 3-0. I lose the next match after that, making me 3-1. I draw the next match after that, making it 3-1-1. And now it gets extremely interesting, which I'm going to explain as you watch the rest of this match that I won. 3-1-1. If you're 4-1-1, you top. So the very last match comes down to literally win and you're in. So that is going to be super exciting that you guys are going to witness. And I would also like to mention at this point, if you guys are confused or if you guys are Mastodon players and want to learn about TCG, go check out my Patreon. On my Patreon, I do lots of trainings and every new member, especially tier zero members, can actually pick which training we talk about. So you guys can talk about and learn about any single deck you guys want. And every single Patreon member actually has access to every single lesson plan, whether you're tier one or not. So it's super awesome. Go check that out. And uh, yeah, let's do this, guys. So this 311 after all this. And you know what? We should have been 401. That one loss was actually a minor misplay that cost the game. Should have been avoided. So 401, this deck is literally just that good. As long as you don't misplay, you're gonna win. And it's literally that simple. So no more misplays coming down to YCS Charlotte. Let's go. Bro, that was a great match. It was a pleasure dueling you. Thanks, I'm gonna man. win it all for you, bro. I hope, I hope better. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Let's go, Philippe Duo, Philippe Xavier. Fuck. Let's go. I'm not you, but you know what? Yo, is that your boy? Yeah, that's my boy, Philip right. Doe. Mark my words, okay? We're gonna go top cut, and I will get my revenge. I will get my revenge, yes. We'll see you in top cut. All right, sounds good. Let's go, guys. I guess I got new pants and gonna top. Exactly. Guys, it comes down to this. Last round of Swiss. Winner goes on. Me versus my boy. Blue pants versus blue pants. Let's go. Who's gonna win? Dice rolls roll in my favor. This is it, boys. It's win and you're in. Win and you're in the top cut. That's it, baby. I want to come to Montreal and show them, guys. We're the pen. We are the penga, baby. Us Toronto duelists know what we're doing. So over here, facing my, my boy in the blue pants. We both are literally wearing the same blue Adidas pants. That is epic. True Euro shit. Let's go. And he sets up an amazing uh, setup here. Terra top is absolutely broken in this deck. It literally sets up Cherubini for free. 
He's going to go Shooting Riser. Shooting Riser is going to send him Token Collector, which is, I mean, amazing. Uh, he knows what I'm playing, and that's going to be an amazing card to have there. He goes Dagged Up DB. He's playing uh, Base Tier. Sets up DP Scythe with Token Collector and Lancia. So he's going to be able to Scythe Lancia and Token Collector me, which is amazing. And yeah, that's, <laughs> that's going to really hurt us. Uh, the best way to stop Based is try and destroy every one of their link monsters it will be pretty tough for them to actually otk you so the goal here that i have is uh i have to survive one turn i'm gonna kill all of his link monsters and just hope to survive so that's my game plan here and then my following turn i'll be able to summon a prank kit i have a bait for the dpe and then i'll be able to win so i just really need to survive he goes lina he goes into chaos ruler which is really cool and then at this point like managing to survive a bit. He goes Celine, Celine Joel, Axis Code, GG. We lose the game there, sadly. But it doesn't matter. We're down one game. What are you gonna do when you're down one game? Are you just gonna scoop? No, no, no. My last two games, I just lost one and drew one. I'm like, I'm not on a hot roll right now. I started off winning three in a row, then I lost one and I drew one. Now I lost a game one of this this one. I'm like, okay, there's no shot I'm gonna lose now. Not like that. No chance. So I'm focusing, I'm thinking, I'm like, all right, let's do this. Let's win this. Let's win this. I set up the whole play. Uh I do want to be wary of Nibiru. I don't open another. I have a lot of hand traps in my hand. Luckily, the, uh, there's no ash on the prank kit. And we go into this. He goes token collector. I'm like, damn, that actually affected me more than I thought. But that's all good because we got one for one. And that's going to set up the exact same play here. We got this and that set to. And that's going to be game. Token collector also stops him. Like it stops him from, from activating uh, uh, right of Aramisia right here. So he's actually forced to get rid of this. Normal Takatambor goes into Degda. Goes, goes right. I don't care about Dagda. I allow the Dagda to resolve, knowing that I need to stop everything else. I go Butler in this scenario. I let him have a Scythe. I don't care. I'm going to pop uh, the rest of the field here with uh, with Butler. And I'm saving all my hand traps. I, I have hand traps in my hand right now. That, that's gone from the field. And there's, he goes Talents. I'm like, damn, that's really good for him to get here. He summons Griffin before. Uh, and then he, he's going to clear my field. It goes Verte. And I Valor the Verte. Boom, GG, just like that. So now we're going to go with the Ever Pivotal game number three. So I do a really cool trick here, which you guys need to know. These tricks like this are shown on Patreon all the time. I'm telling you, it's a, a literally treasure chest of tips. I actually side out my whole DPE engine. I side out the entire DPE engine and, and two prank kids uh, making a six. So I have 19 hand traps right now. 19 hand traps. I imperm the Terra Top. Uh, I know he's going to go Cherubini. I Gamma the Verte. And I literally have prank kid full combo, I think. I was a prank kid. No, I had, I had right full combo. Yeah, and prank kid. Like, <laughs> bro, like that's absurd. Like, and I'm taking this easy. I'm letting him go slow because I know I just want to set my stuff. I want to get an advantage. I, uh, the anti spell does also stop the prank kid stuff. I just want to set up as much as advantage as humanly possible and then win on the following turn because there's no way that this deck, base deck, could play with one card. And I have five hand traps in my hand, literally. So I just set everything and win. And then just like that, we won. Let's fucking go. We end up topping. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. Top cut. I hope so. I ho at least I hope we got top cut. Let's fucking go, baby. Pen best deck. Prank second best deck. Let's go. Let's go. Top cut, baby. Top cut's coming right now. Guys, my phone is at like 10%. So there's going to be no more dual videos, sadly. But you're going to see me here in about one minute. And I'll tell you what happens in the first round. Top eight is about to start right now. What? Let's subscribe to Von Gear. Subscribe to Von Gear, baby. All right, guys. Top eight's about to show. Top eight's about to show. Steven Trifonoski, please be here. Steven Trifonoski, come on. Come on. Oh, no. We're at 10. Please, there's only one more number. Yeah! Let's go. You're all going down. Also, the Montreal Canadiens suck. All right, guys. If you want me to win this, you guys got to comment right now. Okay? Like, literally, Goku, like, spirit bomb. All right? Smash the subscribe button. Smash the like button. And if you do that, I'm going to win. If you don't, I'm going to lose. And I'll blame all of you. So smash the subscribe button now. Let's go. So, guys, tournament's over. We lost. We fucking lost. I didn't see a fucking prank game. I played out of my fucking mind, bro. Oh, but we still went 10 OTS packs. Shout out that shop. It was sick. Card brawler. It was awesome. Good time. We got yeah, 10 OTS packs. And guess what? We're in, what the heck? This guy's honking. Because my beard is too sick. Guys, listen. 10 best deck. Prank in second best deck. Oh, we're at no sleep still. Let's go. Yo, my beautiful mother's calling right now. So I have to stop the video and call her. 
But uh, I'll see you guys at the casino slash wherever we go next, maybe the hotel. All right, peace. After we all eat some poutine, we're going to commence Mission Impossible. We're commencing mission, get my boys to the fucking club. We're going to party and we're going to get them go. They don't know what it is, but we're going to do. This is my order. What, are you, what would you guys get here? This is mine, thank God. All this. This is Benny's. We got the... Uh, you got your, you need a name, bro. You missed the most important thing. Does this person really need to know my name? That's true. Uh, <laughs> nice. And you got, uh, bacon, ground beef. That sounds solid, bro. That sounds really delicious. This one is Mark's. Mark got, Mark's, what a nice guy. What a nice guy. Yeah. Quality piece. He got some pepperoni, some sausage. Solid. Latino. What are you saying, bro? Still looking. Yo, yo, Tino's out here with everything in the world. Let's go, Tino. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's gonna be insane. Like one. All right, boys. So the vibe quickly switched. Long story short, don't ask what we're doing in here. Okay. The vibe switched big time. Uh, apparently we have a date tonight or something. Uh, boys, this is the map. Let's go. I'm excited, bro. Bro, I already love this trip. We're at a hotel. Finally, we just came back from dinner and some hilarious shit went down. So our waitress was was hot. Obviously, my straw girls, yo, you guys are beautiful. Yo, Benny, what just happened at the at the restaurant, bro? Yo, you kept telling this fucking waitress that I was you. <laughs> I have a YouTube channel. <laughs> my YouTube channel is under the name Trip Game. <laughs> I have an Instagram under the name The Panda. <laughs> she was so interested. She was going to Benny like, oh really? Can I see it? And she literally went on her phone and pulled up on YouTube Trip Gaming. Oh, 63,000 subs, that's you? It doesn't look like you. Then Benny spills she the beans. She said, she said, that's huge. Oh. Yeah, she's oh. like, that's huge. It's not I, people. And then she's like, wait a minute, that's, that's not, not you. you. And, and then he, Benny turns around, he's like, oh no, it's this It's this guy. Then I'm like, oh yeah, you know, this is my, my Instagram, you're cute. Put your number, put your Instagram in here. And we're linking her up right now. She's supposed to go with her friends at some bar or something, at some club. So the game plan is there going to go to the club but for the pre they're gonna come here first for the hotel barring if the friend is okay with it but guess what we just topped the Yu-Gi-Oh tournament buddy of course they're gonna be okay with it so once they figure out we're all Yu-Gi-Oh duelists and no flunder pussies then they're going to make their way to our hotel we're gonna go to our pool at the hotel we're ahead of the game look at this are not allowed to drink in the hotel so what we're gonna do actually we're gonna chug these we're gonna chug these water bottles because we're ahead of the curve baby we're ahead of the curve. We're gonna chug four of these water bottles. Boys, we chugged our water bottles, right, Mark? Yes, sir. Yeah, we got those. Those are gonna put the drinks in here. They'll never know. Yo, if these girls flop, I'll flop on them. They don't flop on us, what the heck? Yo, there's this other girl that's pretty sweet too. We got an Instagram, but she was so nice. I didn't try to, we didn't try to get an Instagram. It just happened. She was really nice. And just like before she left, I'm like, wow, she's so like cute and beautiful and nice. Like, it'll be a shame not to talk to her again. I would really love to get to know her and what books she likes and what books she reads uh where her family originates from uh the size of her bra let's go boys we got here with our um, apple juice this place is a vibe boys i'm telling you if you guys ever travel for locals whatever it may be whether it be for ycs charlotte or wherever bro you're with your friends in a fucking sick ass hotel playing Yu-Gi-Oh, best game in the world with your fucking boys take advantage of it have some fun bro it's not just about Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, it's about Yu-Gi-Oh, but it's definitely about having fun at pools and stuff and with apple juice. So I'm probably going to conclude the video here because this is our pre-drink. We're about to go, go out with the girls. So like I said, we met some sexy girl from Montreal. We talked. Life doesn't get better. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. I'm going to have to cut it here. I don't want you guys to see what happens next. I was going to say the end of the video, guys. Absolutely amazing time, Montreal. Absolutely fucking sick Amazing time. See you in the next video. Peace. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys got this part, make sure to smash the subscribe button and smash the like button. We're leaving the hotel right now. Absolutely amazing trip here in Montreal. Going to get in a quick lift before we go. Man, absolutely amazing trip. Can't wait to do it again. Watch this Charlotte in five days. That vlog the video is going to be insane. Make sure to stay tuned, guys. Check out playmatchgaming.com. Check out the Patreon down below. I love you guys. See you guys in the next episode.